Hello students, today we are going to know about total internal reflection. To do this total internal reflection activity, we require the same materials what we have used in the lab activity 1, like semicircular glass lab, pencil, pro circle, laser light. Now we place the semicircular glass disc in such a way that its diameter coincides with the interface of the interface line which is MM which is MM. Now, we send the light rays through the curved surface of the semicircular glass disc. See, this means that we are making the light rays traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. Light rays are traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. To understand total internal reflection, light rays must travel from rarer medium to denser medium. Now, let me send the light rays with an angle of incidence equals to 0, which is along the normal. See what happens if the light rays are angle of incidence is 0. The angle of incidence 0, the angle of refraction is also 0. Because the angle of incidence 0 in the denser medium, the angle of refraction in the rarer medium is also 0. Now, let me try with the different angles. As I am going to consider the angle of incidence is 20 degrees. If the angle of incidence is 20 degrees, the angle of refraction what I got in the rarer medium is nearly 30 degrees. I am going to increase the angle of incidence to 30 degrees. The angle of refraction I got is 40 degrees. Means it shows the light ray traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. The light ray traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. The angle of refraction, the refracted ray bends away from the normal. Still, I am going to increase the angle of incidence. See, for 40, angle of incidence is 40. I got the angle of refraction as 60. See, I am going to send the angle of incidence as 40. Angle of refraction I got as around 65 something. Still, I am going to increase certain angle of incidence. I got a ray which grazes the interface between two medias. If just a little bit increase in the angle of incidence, I got the refracted ray come back into the denser medium. See, you can observe the refracted ray when the angle of incidence more than, see, you will observe the refracted ray here. This refracted ray came back into the denser medium because the angle of incidence is more than critical angle. See, I have considered the angle of incidence 50 degrees, which is more than critical angle, which shows the light ray come back into the same medium. This is called as total internal reflection. Before the angle of incidence is less than the critical angle, light ray is still in the rarer medium. But I have, as I consider the angle of incidence more than the critical angle, the light ray come back into this denser medium. This shows total internal reflection.